How to find a gap in research. Research gap it is a question or a problem that has not been answered by any of the existing studies or research within your field. Sometimes, a research gap exists when there is a concept or new idea and not studied at all. In simple words, research gap is an area that is unexplored or underexplored. How to identify research gap? There are some steps you can take to help identify research gaps. Since it is impossible to go through all the information and research available nowadays, one is to select a topic or question that motivates you. Research can take a long time and surely a large amount of physical, intellectual, and emotional effort. Therefore, choose a topic that can keep you motivated throughout the process. Two is to find keywords and related terms to your selected topic. Besides synthesizing the topic to its essential core, this will help you in the next step. Three is to use the identified keywords to search literature. From your findings in the above step, identify relevant publications and cited literature in those publications. Look for topics or issues that are missing or not addressed within, or related to, your main topic. Four is to read systematic reviews. These documents plunge deeply into scholarly literature and identify trends and paradigm shifts in fields of study. Sometimes they reveal areas or topics that need more attention from researchers and scientists. Search new literature. Keeping track of all the new literature being published every day is an impossible mission. Remember that there is technology to make your daily tasks easier, and reviewing literature can be one of them. Some online databases offer up to date publication lists with quite effective search features. One is Google Scholar, two is Elsevier's Scope, three is Pub Crawler, four is Feedly. Finer, a research framework. A framework in research offers structure and guidance for planning methodologies, prioritizing the right questions, and constructing logical presentation sequences of the research itself. Finer research framework can help you formulate your research question. Finer criteria helps scientists formulate a solid research question by highlighting useful concepts. For example, is the research feasible, interesting, novel, ethical and relevant? One is feasible writing feasible research questions means that they can be answered under objective aspects like time, scope, resources, expertise, or funding. Some questions that you can ask yourself regarding feasibility are, for example, is there enough time to conduct the research? Is there the technology and expertise I need to undertake my study? Can I pay for it? Is my study going to have the amount of effect and relevance for the audience that I'm hoping? Do I have access to the group of interest or number of participants? I need to obtain accurate results. If you are a newcomer in academia, you might consider asking for advice from more experienced researchers and collaborating with a statistical consultant. Statistical power is also a central issue in terms of feasibility. Two is interesting. This might be the more subjective part of the finer acronym. The interesting factor is highly dependent on intrinsic individual drive for a specific knowledge field or scientific topic. The first thing is to find out is what you consider interesting. As you have probably already discovered on your own, Carrying on any kind of research is quite overwhelming and often demands self-motivation. Even if the topic of your choice turns out quite uninteresting for some people or institutions, it doesn't mean it's not exciting at all. In order to grow interest among your target audience, try building a strong and captivating rationale. Regardless of your own personal motivation about a subject, it is important to check if your question corresponds to more practical and broader interests. 
Ask yourself if your work will bring immediate benefits for society. For example, check the current interests of funding agencies. With this in mind, it's possible to formulate a research question that generates interest both for you, as the author, and for the community. 3. Is novel. In scientific literature, novelty defines itself by being an answer to an existing gap in knowledge. Filling one of these gaps is highly rewarding for any scientist, for it may represent a real difference in people's lives. But achieving such a goal demands extensive research. You must know, in depth, what has been written before on the topic. If you don't feel confident in your level of expertise on the matter, replicating prior methodologies in different contexts, like trial groups, for example, can be a smart move. 4. Is ethical. In empirical research, ethics is an absolute must. Therefore, there are many independent entities that review and approve proposed studies, especially those involving human beings. Also, methods, protocols and standardized formats for review have been developed in order to prevent any kind of incidents that we, in modern society, would understand as harmful, dishonorable, or unprincipled. Before you carry on with your study, make sure you are addressing safety and confidentiality measures, and acting according to the necessary protocols. For example, acquiring consent of the participant population in the case of a clinical drug trial. 5. Is relevant relevance alone can lead to real, visible changes in society. An idea that is considered relevant in the scientific community has a much better chance to be discussed by numerous scientists and recognized experts, leading to innovation and rapid information dissemination. Literature gap. The expression literature gap is used with the same intention as research gap. There is a gap in the research itself, there will also naturally be a gap in the literature. Nevertheless, it is important to stress out the importance of language or text formulations that can help identify a research or literature gap or, on the other hand, making clear that a research gap is being addressed. When looking for research gaps across publications you may have noticed sentences like has or have not been studied reported or elucidated is required or needed the key question is or remains it is important to address these expressions often indicate gaps issues or topics related to the main question that still has not been subject to a scientific study therefore it is important to take notice of them who knows if one of these sentences is hiding your way to fame. Types of research gap There are seven types of research gap such as evidence gap, knowledge gap, practical knowledge gap, methodological gap, empirical gap, theoretical gap and population gap. One is evidence gap. There is little or no evidence to address the research problem. Two is knowledge gap. The knowledge may not exist in the actual field. It might be the case that the result of a study differs from what was expected. 3. Is practical knowledge gap. When professional behavior or practices deviate from research findings or are not covered by the research. 4. Is methodology gap. A distinction in research methods is needed to have new insights or to avoid ambiguous findings. 5. Is empirical gap. Research findings need to be evaluated or empirically verified. 6. Is theoretical gap. Theory should be applied to certain research issues to generate new insights. Lack of theoretical knowledge may lead to a gap in research. 7. Is population gap. Type of research gap that deals with a population which is not adequately represented or under-researched in the prior research, for example, gender, age, race. Here is the summary table regarding seven types of research gap. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.